Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Sergeant Drill Play Survival Chaos. Clearly, things have popped off very quickly, so let's just hop in. So we are playing as the undead, so this could be very, very interesting. So Nerubian King, that could be interesting because we replace Sylvanas, and that's something we haven't done in a long time. The Corruptor is a lot of fun. Dragon Blight. Hmm, let's go with the Corruptor. We haven't played with the Corruptor in a long time. And... So yeah, once again, I'm very, very sorry that it has been so long since we've had content. It has been a crazy, crazy, crazy few days. As you know, 4th of July happened. And oh my goodness, it looks like there is no one on this side. Interesting. So we have a 1v1v1 this time around. So we are absolutely going to be picking up this economy thing first. And we are playing against the dwarves. And the Fell Orcs. Alright, so it's going to be a bit of a tough game because these are two very solid races. But frankly, I think we can do it. This is going to be... This lane is actually has now become a lot more interesting because all of a sudden we have a huge lane. So that means that all of the blobs and the pushes are going to be that much bigger and potentially that much more dangerous against us. So, and some of you, I, I think one of our more recent recruits into the neutral army has asked whether or not I, I can do a guide, and I would be absolutely honored to do a guide a little bit more for beginners, and I think that's what I'm going to be doing probably over the weekend or something like that when I've got a little bit more time to dedicate to this to the video and really kind of do a kind of step-by-step -step, make it clear and once again if you guys have any suggestions for that tip tips and tricks video please let me know you guys are far more knowledgeable in this game than I am and I would be more than happy to do it but yeah so basically things are going pretty pretty well we it's a very kind of standard opening here you know we are going to start getting pushed in but that is why we have cheap dirt cheap units that come out all the time and yeah unfortunately they hit us right in the golden zone so that's gonna be a bit of a bummer and I and I do need to start think of I need to get the magic more than anything else as the next upgrade I'll throw him out just to give us a little bit more breathing room. Seven, six, three, two, one, and we're good. And we will snag that basic necromancy as fast as possible. And we have to be careful because these dwarves, I don't know how they got these out so quickly, but they did, and, and that's just something we're going to have to deal with. And here comes their little push from the side. Not super concerned about that. Though I am tempted to throw my first upgrade in here. That way I have this whole area to push back on. Four, three, two, one. And we are just fine. Okay. And how are we doing in the middle? I mean, the middle... The middle, frankly, the dwarves aren't capitalizing nearly as much as I thought they would be. I'm absolutely going to be getting some wicked strength here. It would be interesting to see if they're pushing against me. Because if they are, unfortunately, that means I push against them first. That's just how it is. Are they, are they, are they? No! Excellent, so they're pushing up against the dwarves. Okay, great, so we picked up the first level of Unholy Strength, and they're doing roughly the same. Alright, so we're doing pretty well. And it is hot as Hades in New York right now, so I'm sorry if I'm a little bit quieter than usual. I am just suffering from the heat. I don't know if you can hear it, but I actually have a fan on my back pretty much at all times just because uh, there's no air conditioning in the Airbnb that I'm in right now so it's just a little bit on the warm side it's a lovely Airbnb I love the location but it is so hot it is so hot outside like Lord have mercy is it hot 
All right, 902. Come on, come on, come on. Let's. I just want to drop my thousand on this, on the middle one, because I think it's about time that we start being really scared of the dwarves coming down the middle. Especially considering they've had com almost completely uncontested rain over the middle. So I'm gonna throw them out. Get a group up, drop it like that. Honestly, not bad. Okay, another one. Great, and I'm gonna throw out two more corruptors to try and spawn a few more parasites to get a little more. And we'll throw two uh, necromancers up it against them as well. Honestly, that went a lot better than I thought it was going to. <laughs> okay, we've got a good push going this way. And we have a decent push coming up that way. Okay, good. So that's already been repaired. 286. Hey, where are the fell orcs? It would be really nice if you guys could come help us out in the middle, buds. Because um, the dwarves are looking pretty happy. And we don't necessarily want happy dwarves. Okay, good. There they are. And they're two and two, and I'm two and... And I'm soon going to be two and two, so... Excellent. B E A U Tiffle. No, he's actually letting that take a lot of damage. Like, that's halfway done. I think I'm gonna throw down a little upgrade here. So I can go knock on his door pretty hard. Because if I can pop that bottom barracks, then it's me v the dwarves. Seven seventy three, seven eighty five, nine oh seven, nine nineteen, nine thirty one. Come on, come on, come on! Give us that sweet thousand. There it is, and I missed it. Ah, <laughs> how infuriating! So they're two and two, and I think my guys are two and two. Yeah, yeah. So, in terms of upgrades, I'm right where I want to be. I will be popping in this basic gate just because I don't want them to fall too too far behind because that way if I get any huge push I do oh and he hmm we both had the same idea well, I'm gonna be sending out just one so I can pick that up and deny him the 75 gold and I think he pays for himself does he not yeah boom advanced wicked armor I would really like some advanced wicked strength that would be most idyllic. 384. More gold. And especially considering that the undead are um, one of the weaker starting races, just like they start out with less damage, I think I should prioritize damage. Not necessarily more than anything else, but definitely it, it should be pretty high on my list of priorities. Okay, so we are chugging along. Advanced Wicked Armor. I will grab another improved gate just because I really don't want them to feel too, too comfortable. And I, and especially with like stuff like this starting to charge down my lanes, I'd rather keep it under control. And the doors are actually falling behind in terms of unit upgrades, which makes me a very happy boy. We're almost back up to full ma mana. I was about to say mana, but I don't know why. That would, that would just sound weird to me. And another advanced gate. Can we get it in time? We'll be close. I think we just might be able to. We will see. Ooh. Okay, we're two-thirds of the way there. Three quarters, four fifths, five sixths, seven eighths, 
Nine tenths, and there it is. Great. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And there it is. And I'm gonna let them kind of destroy, you know, mutually destroy themselves here. Because I don't necessarily want to push way hard, way too quick. I would rather kind of help build up my blob here. And I think that's what we're kind of doing here. Yeah, great. And there's another one which will feed into the blob. Yes, 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 yes. Good. So we're sitting at 14.02. I'm tempted to throw the graveyard here. But I don't necessarily... I think it would be more important for me to get the Necropolis level 2. Just because that opens up, you know, I can use the nukes. Okay, or Orphelia is not doing too hot right now. If he lost his upper barracks already, that means that the dwarves just got a pretty penny. Which is not good for me. <laughs> Three, two, one. Yeah, we'll hit it right in time. Always the building reconstruction. For me, that's just always such a good choice. Yellow has captured neutral building. Okay, so he's coming down to say hi to me. So I've got to upgrade this graveyard hard. <laughs> 9.53, okay. 9.95, yeah, we've got to go. What's nice is that he won't be able to blob up at all, which will give me a big, big breathing room. Four, three, two... I mean, the damage is fairly negligible at this point. And we are going to be able to pick that up. That is really nice. At least we pick one up. 623, advanced cursed stones. Come on, let's get this economy going. Oh, actually, no, I'm going to save up. I'm going to get a thousand, and I'm going to send Kel'Thuzad into the middle. Because we're gonna need we're gonna need some hero presence there. 944, 962, 992, a thousand. Five, four, three, two. And remember, you guys want to click them when hit there at about a two percent because they spawn at spawn at the bottom. So if you really want them to be like together in the push, is he not gonna nuke? He should really, really nuke. He should really, really, really nuke. He should... He should really nuke. <laughs> oh, no, but they, we're all focusing on the hero. Okay. I'm surprised he hasn't nuked yet. I would have nuked a lot by now. And Kel'Thuzad is doing well. Born Thornton. Just hanging out there. Oh, Jubathos is taking some pretty nasty hits here. But him being who he is, he's doing alright. Um, Corruption Aura would be really nice. And then Disease Cloud, also great. Lifesteal, very, very important. But I think Lightweight is even better. Because Lightweight basically means there's a 5% chance that they'll dodge. Which may not sound great right now, but trust me when it's like, to me, it, it changed it. First of all, just the ability to spawn units is the undead are second to none. And then if these, if these units then stick around for much longer than they should, that's horrifying. Okay, they pushed us back. That's okay. We did horrifying damage to their barracks, so that should give us bit of an advantage, to say the least. And then I, I should probably get advanced Wicked Armor. We're doing good amount... We're, we're doing... I'm content with the amount of damage we're doing. But I would like our units to last a little longer. Ooh, 
Oof, and Kel'Thuzad just, he keeps eating those chain lightnings, which is not a part of a, a healthy, balanced diet for a lich. It really isn't. Okay, and here they come. And now we're gonna reap a bit of the benefits of picking up the chaos damage. It's part of the building damage, I don't know what I'm talking about, good lord. I will, however, drop this on them. Ooh, I missed way too many there. For that to be even remotely good. Three, two, one. Yeah, we got him here. And Jubathos is eating, eating damage here. And here, I might just want to send him out. That way we can pretty much break the... Fell orcs. Great, so he's level three. Basic corrupted strength imbued. I think we should all we should now go for a little more damage. I know I just said I was content with the damage, but more greed is good. Oh, leave her yellow. He left. When did he leave? Did I just miss this entirely? Have we been fighting a non-play, an NPC dwarf this entire time? Well, I guess it's just me versus the comms now. <laughs> well, sorry about this, guys. I was expecting a little more of an adventure, but... If this is the way it must be, then this is the way it must be. K sera sera. Lever Red has lost their fortress. Okay, so the dwarves are getting pretty beefy. Improved necromancy. Great, we got the corruption aura. Let's get the lifesteal. And then... Yeah, we'll get that. If we could kill Gorg Grimwolf, that would be awesome. All right, and this push is doing well, to say the least. I mean, but when you've got a level 6 Arthas running with you, life could be a lot worse. All right, well, we're freezing. Okay, good. <laughs> I was like, don't you dare kick me. We're doing okay. We're doing well. Don't kick me. Oh, wow, they're just helping each other out here. <laughs> You know, which is fine, you know, in the real world, I'm all for cooperation, but, you know, we're trying to murder a lot of people for this little square of land. We gotta keep this square of land ours. This tiny little square of land here. So here we are. Good news is there's no nukes. And we have a hero, and they don't. So I'm pretty happy with this. Alright, so we are doing well, 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 well. Okay. Ooh, taking big chunks out of the barracks. Can we snag the barracks? We are ignoring the barracks. Okay, good. We are no longer ignoring the barracks. We just picked up the bottom barracks. Awesome. So we're going to be upgrading that ASAP. Asape. And then we're going to be upgrading this. Asape. As, uh, no, this... ASAP as well. Yeah, because they're getting a little comfortable here. And I I don't I don't as I said, I don't like comfortable dwarves. I don't. Great. So that is going well in the middle. And then which one should I get? I should probably get more damage. I just really like damage. <laughs> It's just, damage is just so great. Arthas is level 9 and absolutely killing it. Well, I hate to say it, but I'm feeling pretty confident with our chances here. But we'll see. I mean, one thing that I really like about Survival Chaos is nothing is ever truly guaranteed. Except that probably three of you are going to die out of the four people playing. That's almost guaranteed. <laughs> All right, it's great, so we're destroying that burrow. Yeah, this poor player must have just been very new. He's got no, he's got no, he's got no economy upgrades, and he's got no 
base damage upgrades. Oh, Jubathos. Did Jubathos just wreck Arthas's life? Oh no, Arthas is doing okay. Arthas is doing just fine. So we've got 1,500. So they lost their middle barracks. Don't think it was us that picked it up, though, which is kind of unfortunate. Yeah, and Kel'Thuzad is dead. Muradin has murdered him. He has Muradined him. I don't know what that means, but we're rolling with it. And then what are we, five and four? Okay, not bad. I would like to send Sylvanas in the middle. Is Oh, great. Jubathos just went down. Four, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. Because I could send Kel'Thuzad on this side, but I don't think it's necessary. I would really like to counter Muradin in, in the middle here. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, seat 2, 1, 0, and she's running with the pack now. And that's kind of exactly what you want in terms of hero placement if you're throwing them into a lane like that. But how are they doing in terms of upgrades? 6 and 3. Okay, so not as scary as they can very often be. So 670, 791, what upgrades do we have here? Oh yes, dead animation. Dead animation basically improves everybody that the necromancers summon. So once again, kind of, I've waited a little longer to pick it up, which I probably shouldn't have, but here we are. Great, and we're going to get Corrupted Strength level 6. Savannah is only level two, so I don't know how well she's going to be able to do against Murden. Mur Murderin. All right, and what else do we have here in terms of upgrade? Disease Cloud would be dope, but it only affects organic units, and we're not going to be fighting that many organic units. I oh, but same with Life Steal. Okay, so I think I'll just get Lightweight, double the evasion of my guys. Will we get nuked here? I have a feeling that we will. Yep, there it is. Great, so now it's unholy strength. We got the unholy strength. Advanced corrupted armor. What else? I should probably pick up more cursed, cursed stones. But let's get some advanced corrupted armor and hope that it pings off before they go in here. And I would be very, very, very happy if we push it in a little harder here because they just used their alt. So they're going to have no alt to defend this side, which is good, which makes me a... V a what? A very happy little boy. So we're sitting at 580. And I'm tempted there's two in here. We'll see how well Sylvanas does. I'll do what I take. Ooh, I mean, that's... Oh, and here comes Garam Rockbeard, but he's only level 1. He's going to take a ton of damage here. Oh, he might actually just get straight up murdered here. Once again, why it's very important that you don't send out level 1 heroes when they're not behind this area, because I just ate a thousand of his gold right there. It's a thousand gold. Like, that's not a little bit. That's a lot. No, we'll get the research dead animation. Oh, we'll research dead animation. There it is. Uh, but we weren't quite able to break through with our abominations as much as I would have liked, but it might just be enough here. Are we going to be able to punch a hole through it? And I think we are, ladies and gentlemen. That is brilliant. Great, so they just lost their right barracks, so all of a sudden, that is a huge, huge, huge opening for us. Sylvanas is doing awesome. She, I think she just murdered the, both of those heroes, which is upsetting with how good that is. 
here. I normally, you should normally never ever do this, but I'm tempted to throw both heroes down the middle. Just to end this pretty quickly. Two one. Ah, I missed it. Uh, I missed it by just a little bit, but it was good enough, clearly. So we've got levels 13 Arthas and level 11 Kel'Thuzad, and then a level 8 Sylvanas Windrunner. It's a good day right now to be undead. Ooh, and just the damage. We just dis annihilated their barracks, and that will be it for the dwarves, ladies and gentlemen. I don't really even need to spend much more money because, you know, Garum just went down again, the poor dwarf. I will upgrade my Necropolis to level 3, just in case something happens, because already this is going to destroy... When the fortress goes down, there's an explosion, for those of you who don't know. And we're going to watch the results of the explosion happen pretty much right away. So here it goes. Boom. It kills pretty much everything. So, and see, Kel'Thuzad actually got one shot by that explosion. So it's really not something to take too, too lightly. I want to send Galio down the middle. <laughs> and Murden, Murden's doing well, frankly. And Sylvanas is just pinging away in the back. Ping, 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 ping. Which I love, 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 love. Born Thornton level 9. I'm just waiting for Galio. I'm going to send Galio in. Though, frankly, I don't know... Yeah, Gar Garam Rockbeard is getting murdered. So is Born Thornton. And here comes Galio. So... And almost right with a push. So I will take it. So Born... So it looks like Garam may have just... Oh no, Garam is still there. Ooh, but Garam is taking some pretty big hits, and Corruption Aura does make a big difference, especially with the armor, with the heroes, just because the heroes have hero armor, so they take a lot less damage from a lot of different sources. See? So like 80% from Chaos. So anytime you can knock that armor down, you're, you're adding a whole bunch of damage to you, the guys around you. Just something to keep in mind. And here we are. That will be it, ladies and gentlemen. That is a quick, quick, quick game. And I hope you enjoyed it. So, once again, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Sergeant Neutral, signing out.